Today I'm going to show you guys how to build a real-time task application using the new Record Watcher available in Service Portal. So I've already gone ahead and built out the, the table needed, which we're calling UTask, and I've already built out the two widgets that we're going to need with the HTML. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, put the ng model on the input of the name field. So c.data.name, there we go. And then we'll do the same thing on the description field. So c.data.shortdescription. And then we're going to want to attach an ng click for when you click the button. So we'll call this one add item. And we'll use the server.update method here so that we can call the server script. And then here inside the promise, uh, we'll just clear out data, just make it an empty object. So here in the server script, if you have the input variable, it means that it's being called from the controller. So if it's not, doesn't have input, then we'll just return. And so let's go ahead and we'll create the glide record on the U task table. Got to initialize it first. Short description. And we'll insert. Cool, so let's uh, give this a try. Refresh the page, and now if we fill this out, we should actually be creating a record. Cool, that worked. All right, now let's start working on the task list widget where we can display all the tasks that we have now created. So we'll start with an empty array and then we'll set up the glide record here again, point it at the U task table. And we'll just do a query because we're pulling all records. And the while loop. So here we can just create uh, an empty object called task. And we'll just start assigning the properties onto that. Name. And we use get display value. And then lastly, we'll do the sysid. And for this, we can use the dot get unique value. And 
And then let's push it onto the tasks array. Now we're going to want to do the ng repeat to loop over all the tasks. So we'll do tasks in cdata.tasks. And then replace name, and it'll be uh, task.name and task.short description. And then down here, we just want to, if there are no tasks, we can just show no tasks. So we'll check the length of uh, the tasks array. Cool. All right, let's check it out. Boom, there it is. So now we're just missing one last part here, and that is to set up the record watcher so that it will update. So first, uh, we'll use sputil. Oh, I've got to pass it in. And the method is called record watch, if I can spell. And it takes, uh, the first parameter is scope. So we have to remember to pass that in as well. And the second parameter is going to be the table name, so u underscore task. And since we're pulling all of them, I don't have to pass in a filter on that. And then we'll just create the function here. And since all we're really doing is now updating, so we can use the sputil update method just to refresh based on the server script. So now if we check this out and it's all working, then uh, our task application should now be actually updating in real time. Let's create one more here. And great, there you go. All right, now I just want to do one last thing to, to check this out here. Make sure it works. So now, if we come here and we create another one, then this should now show up on both of them. Cool. It worked. All right, so we're effectively using Record Watcher. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know what you think in the comments.